friends, family, to get to the beach, to read, to cook, clean, to complete a task, to exercise, for art, baths, holidays, travel, sleep. Obviously none of us know how much time we have and when we think about it that way it can be really daunting to feel that our days are flying by without us ever really feeling like we have enough time. As much as I like to schedule and plan things out, I also really like to mix things up, have less rigidity in my life and more freedom to do as I please. So these are the values I'll be approaching this video with. My main piece of advice in being more intentional with your time and therefore your life is to get rid of the distractions, particularly your phone and social media. For me, distractions get rid of my creativity. They interfere with my productivity and efficiency and my ability to connect and tune in with life itself. They feel incredibly toxic to me and I almost never feel good when I finally pull myself away. If I felt tired during the day and needed a mental break, I would much rather spend an hour daydreaming than scrolling. And that's the most common distraction these days, right? Our phones, computers, social media and everything in between. We all know we can't help ourselves once we're on, so I find that it's best to just avoid it altogether. I can't be the only one who feels really crap when I finally pull myself away. I feel anxious, guilty, and loathe myself. So on top of wasting my valuable and not guaranteed time, I now feel terrible about myself. But on the flip side, imagine how much time I gain if I remove the distractions. Imagine how much more creative I can be if I daydream and let my mind wander, let my conscious mind run wild. How much better I feel about myself when I know I'm using my time in a way that serves me. Which leads me on to my second and related point. Be intentional with your time. This might mean planning out your day, including breaks, or it could mean following what feels right in the moment and getting in your flow. Whatever it is, you are mindfully living your day. To get started with this, I would encourage a more planned approach so you can understand what it feels like to actually use roughly eight hours in the day or on your weekend. Our days are abundant with time. It's just how we choose to use it. Especially if you remove distractions, I think you'll quickly realize that there's a lot of untapped potential time in each day for you to take advantage of. So make a list of how you would love to use your extra time. It could literally be anything, but here are some ideas. Going for a walk, painting, drawing, reading, working on something that excites you, exercise, cooking, writing, learning a new skill, calling a loved one, whatever brings you joy, fulfillment, or what you're feeling called to do. And finally, making sure you are giving your body what it needs. Adequately fueling myself and ensuring I get enough sleep and rest make a ridiculously significant difference in terms of how much time I have in a day and how I use it. I believe that our bodies know so much more than our minds. Our bodies will always tell us what we need and what's best for us more than our minds ever will. I understand that this might be a bit of a obscure piece of advice, but let me explain. Even with getting rid of distractions and living each day as intentionally as possible, I still have a lot going on. 
It can therefore seem counterintuitive to spend more of our precious time sleeping or making sure that we are eating well and enough. But these fundamental pillars of health determine everything. The amount of energy we have, resilience, willpower, drive, passion, motivation, the quality of the work we produce, our mental capacity, our emotions. If we're tired, we're simply not going to work as well or as efficiently as we would if we were well rested. If we're not getting enough carbs, protein, healthy fats to sustain our energy levels and output, we also won't be performing to the same standard as if we were adequately fueled. I can't give nutritional advice because I have no professional standing in the matter, but I can tell you that if you eat until you're satiated, ensure that about 80% of your weekly intake is made up of protein, vegetables, fruit, and healthy fats. And if you cook the majority of your meals yourself, you will feel a noticeable and significant difference. If you get at least eight hours of sleep per night, especially if you get to bed before 10 p.m., again, you'll feel the difference. You may even start waking up without an alarm. And if you exercise vigorously three to four times per week, you will sleep better, your mood and self-talk will improve, and you'll be more inclined to fuel yourself properly. And if you as a person are feeling and performing better, surely that will extend into your work and daily life, right? Definitely. What's brilliant about removing distractions like social media, being intentional with your time, and properly looking after yourself not only will you have more time in your life, but your overall quality of life will improve exponentially. And whilst all of these elements aren't always going to be easy to implement, they're so simple and you know that they will work. There aren't any tricks or fine prints. You know it will work. It's now up to you. Do you want to make the most of your time in this wonderful life?